Welcome back to Arcade, I am Super Tommy, and in this video we're going to look at Smart Random with Weighted Tables. So we're going to use our MobX, the Game State with MobX example in our previous video, where we had a spaceship you can collect coins, and there's only one type of coin in that video. We're going to add a second type, a blue coin, that will give you, let's say, five points instead of just one. Kind of like in Super Mario when you have the blue coin and the purple coin, that gives you many, many points. So we don't want this blue coin to come up in the same amount of frequency as our yellow coin. So to make that really easy to do, we're gonna use weighted tables. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to do smart random with weighted tables in these three parts. First, we're gonna look at basic random. So that's just very simply, if you have six things, you wanna get one randomly, it'll draw, you know, one, um, equal proportions, so each one has the same chance of getting drawn. Then we'll show you how to use weighted random so that some things can be drawn more often than others. And we'll show you how to add that to your code with an NPM library in our code example. So let's get started by looking at basic random. All right, so here's basic random. We've got five, uh, six green pipes on the right here. The cross pipe, the two corners, a straight horizontal, straight vertical and the three prong pipe. So here, if you were to get randomly from this bag of pipes, it would uh, give an equal chance of getting any one of these pipes each time you call randoms, so like, you know, random one comma six, just as an example. And, but you don't really want to have the cross pipe, for example, that can connect to anything uh, given with the same frequency as the other pipes, which, you know, maybe, um, less likely to connect to things it makes the player think a bit more and kind of strategize. So having the cross pipe come up just frequently as everything else would make the game too easy. So one way to solve that is to use random weighted, so or weighted random rather. So what we have here in, in this example, let's say the, the cross is now only one out of six chance. So out of six draws from this bag randomly, you would get the pipe one time. And then if you look at the vertical straight pipe, that is three out of six or one half. So that means if you drew six times, three out of those six times, you're likely to get the straight pipe. And the other ones at like the corners, two out of six, that's one third or 33%. Um, and the tri pipe over there is also one out of six. So what basically this means is you're gonna get the corner pipes two times as likely as the cross pipe. And you're gonna get the straight vertical pipe 33% more likely than the straight horizontal pipe and three times more likely than the cross pipe. So how do we actually do that? Well, let's look at the percentage first. So this would be the percentage of a 16% chance of getting the cross pipe, a 33% chance of getting the corner pipe and a 50% chance of getting the straight vertical pipe. So let's see how we actually do that with a weighted table in JavaScript. So this is just some code. We're using the uh, library pick random weighted. You can just npm install it and we'll show you how to use it next in our code example. But basically you would give it an array of tuples or what is a uh, two entry array with the first one being the pipe name and the second index in the array being the weight. So before we had, you know, one, two, and three. And then the library basically takes care of it. You just call pick given that table and it'll give you the uh, result. And so the most likely outcome is gonna be the horizontal line, or I'm sorry, the vertical line. That's what we have in that comment there. So now let's see how we can do that in a phaser three game in VS Code right now. Here we are in VS Code. So this is the example from our MobX state management video where we have a spaceship and you can collect coins. So we are, we've added this get random coin function and we'll show you that in a second. But what we've also done is added this blue coin. So we call it a coin dash blue. And then in our uh, create here where we do this time dot add event. So every one second, we're going to create a random coin. We're going to do get random coin, which gives a key of a coin, which is going to be coin or coin dash blue. Now, before we just had this coin, so that was only going to give you one type of coin. So now we've added different types of coins. We're going to use that key uh, given to us by our get random coin function. And then here, to uh, give you different points, 
uh, for the colored the type of colored coin you're going to collect. We just do that here. We check against the coin's texture key. So if you're coin, you get one point or one coin. If you're coin dash blue, you get five coins. So let's uh, look at get random coin because that's where the bulk of the logic exists. So right now, let's go here. What we have is actually just a, uh, a basic random. So we have the coins array over here. We have two entries. That's coin and coin blue. And then we do a get random between index zero and index one. So each one has a 50% chance of getting pulled by this random. But we don't want our blue coin to come up that often because you get five times more points. So we want it to come up less often, maybe 10 times less often. So let's look at what the game looks like now before we do the weighted table. All right, so here is our ship. Okay, so we see the blue and the yellow coins falling. So let's just watch this a little bit. You'll see that the blue coin is coming up basically as frequently as the yellow coin. Um, let's see, so that's yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. So it's coming up a lot more frequently than we'd want for our game. So now let's switch to weighted tables and see what happens. All right, we're back in VS Code. So first thing we want to do is actually import the pick random weighted library. So it's going to be pick, oops, pick from pick random weighted. Now, if you haven't uh, installed this library yet, you're going to do npm install pick random weighted or yarn add pick random weighted. We'll put a link in the description box below to this uh, library's GitHub repository so you can look up more information about it. But so what we have here is this pick function and we give it a array. Let's see, you know, we don't have type for that. Let's just do, let's make an array. So instead of coins here, we're gonna do coins. And then what our um, coins array is gonna have two tuples. So that's just two arrays in it like this. First one, so the first one is the key. The first entry is the key. And then the second entry is the weight. So let's just say this one is 10, 10, 10, and this is one. So that means that is the normal coin is going to be 10 times more likely to appear than the blue coin. And then in our get random coin here, instead of doing a phaser uh, random number, we're going to do pick coins, and it's going to give us a result, right? And does it tell us what? It does not. But the result is going to be these keys, either coin or coin blue. So let's return result. Now let's clean this up. We don't need phaser anymore here. And so that's now our new get random coin function that uses a weighted table from the pick random weighted library. Let's check out how this feels in the actual game. All right, we're back in this uh, preview here. So let's just park ourselves there. You see there's a lot of yellow coins coming down. There's one blue, uh, I just collected it. And now there's more yellow. You can see yellow is coming up way, way more frequently than the blue. It, it, roughly once every 10 yellow coins, you get a blue coin. So that's our weighted table working. You can of course change this number from 10 to five or 15 or 20. You can add more entries like our example with the pipes. So if you learned something in this video or you just enjoyed it, be sure to give us a like, do like this video, hit that thumbs up button, just like this to give us a like.